Welcome to my walkthrough for Dink Smallwood, Part 4, Windermere Quests, Save the Town, and Joppa Island. And we're going to start off exactly where we left off at the end of Part 3. We're in Kernson. We completed the quests in Kernson, and now... The bridge to Windermere has been repaired, and we can go deal with the Windermere quest and all, and all that. But, we need to make a lot more money. And we want to get our levels up. But the money is very important because we, we want to buy now, at this stage... So we don't have to come back all the way here later if we decide we're going to use a bow to fight the final final boss. We want to get the bow lore. That's going to cost 1,500 coins. And we're going to need to buy a few weapons that are going to cost 3,000 and 2,000. And so we need to churn monsters in our blender between our feet <laughs> and between our hands. So we'll want to go all the way to Windermere first because I'm going to show you where all the potions, power-ups, and, and secrets are, as well as money. So bear with me while I run over to Windermere. And we're at the bridge to Windermere, Windermere. To get all these secrets and the potions, let's go up into Windermere and immediately go east one screen and then go down until we get to a beach. I am going to make a stop off with the pigs. There's a tree here I wanted to show you. Not important if you already know what we're doing. But if you don't know what we're doing, or why we're doing it, it's an apple tree. Punch it. Please, sir, don't hit, hurt me. I'm the talking tree to the east. Hit it again. Hit it again. Hit it again. Keep hitting it. Might change your position and hit it again. And <laughs> you'll get some random thing, or it will immediately tell you what you want to know. There is a rock near the duck idol with a crack in it. And this is the only hint you have that the, one of the rocks in the enclosure around the idol at the center of town, the duck idol, because it's a religion, one rock is important because it has a crack in it. And then later you f you f see that you can buy a bomb. And then you have to figure it out to put the bomb near that one specific rock to blow it up so you can get into that enclosure. Because the guard won't let you in. All right. <laughs> and that's what you had to figure out in the uh, beginning. Back at, before there were walkthroughs where anybody could figure out anything. Go down to the beach. Go over. And you'll see these two shells. And these little pebbles that make it look like a path. You, you had to notice this. You had to see it and then understand it in order to know you can go to this island. And this is Duck Island. Also known by other names. Koku or Koku. Just go east. And if you see these two ducks, when, when you see these two ducks, you can talk to them. And one of them will ask you to, if you want to play a game. And you can bet money and win or lose money. And so just basically a little game. I never do this. It's not worth my time. But it is interesting when you're playing this game without any, any backstory or anything else. Now keep going up and then cross the bridge. Down 
one screen, and to the east. Need any hearts? Can get one. Go into this house, and this guy, he's working on the most powerful bow in the world. Great, give it to me now. I'm not finished yet, come back later. And he will not sell you that bow until uh, you've completed the quests in Windermere and have talked to King Daniel. And then you can buy his very, very, very expensive bow. So now we're, we're going to go to the east again and fight some uh, pillbugs. Over one more and fight this guy. And down here will be your save machine. To save your game. Go up north. Continue to go north. Fight the slimes. Hopefully you'll get some hearts out of it. few hearts. Now go up north and then veer a little bit northwest. Get some pill bugs. Kill them. And hopefully you'll get a heart out of that too. Would have been better to have five. Go up the next screen for, and then the one above and you'll get to a bridge. Go across. Be another bridge with slimes. Cross that, and then when you cross this bridge, you'll see two bonkers. And you can let them fight each other and get down to one. And every time they hit each other, they weaken, so it'll be easy to kill the remaining one. And this is the fun one. This bridge has two slayers on it, and you're not strong enough, or at least I'm not, and I have a strong enough weapon. My magic's not strong enough to get across this bridge. I could, but I'd have to fight tooth and nail to beat them. But I probably wouldn't beat the slayer. Just run right through. You'll lose some life, but that's just the way it is. Now you're here. All this is yours. We saw this before when we were over on this side buying the her boots, or the hyper boots. Now we can get to it. We have a heart, increases our, our life capacity, and uh, potions for uh, attack, defense, and magic, and a ton of money, and then a mega potion. Increase all of our stats. But we're still not strong enough, in my opinion, to safely beat the slayers, barehanded, through with a sword, run across the bridge, and that didn't hurt too much, let's go back out and go down, south, and go back to where you came in, south, south, south. And now we can go west. Cross the bridge again. And now we're going west again. All the way back to that sign. Now we can cross back over to mainland. At this screen, you want to go immediately west one screen, and then go up two screens until you're at the top of this screen, and then go east, right. There's a slayer, and there's a potion, which is sometimes hard to pick up, and some money on the ground, 
every penny counts. Go up and over, and you can see all the monsters. You let them kill each other. But go ahead and go ignore them, go to the uh, east side, and the next page or screen will have uh, Bonka, Fast Bonka, and Slimes. Pass them right by and keep going east. There'll be a potion. Right there. Defense potion. Now go one screen over to the west. And you'll see these rocks in the, in the form of an arrow. And we'll have another gold heart in that. There we go. And now we're good. Save the game. One thing I will tell you, if you want to heal yourself or get healed at the clinic or infirmary, don't do it on this island. It's more expensive, much more. Go back over to Terrace, and you could do it there cheaper. Now, basically, what we need to do is come up with enough money to um, buy not only the weapons we need, the claw sword, and the throwing axe, we also want to buy the lore. And if we don't buy that, our bow isn't very, uh, it's just very basic. It doesn't do power shots, it doesn't give you the ability to do power shots. And power shot can be 12, 20, 30 uh, damage to an opponent. And th if you're going to plan on using the bow, which a lot of, most people do, in fact, at the final boss, you'll want to get that bow lord and buy a better bow than the one you got now. It may cost you 5,000 coins to get the... A massive bow and 25,000 to get what's called a flame bow. Huh. And some people pick it, pick to do, pick it that way, be, choose to do it that way, and others, you can still beat the final boss without it. But I like to be ready, and it's better safe than sorry to have that bow lord. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out right now into the same areas and kill the monsters I can kill here. Go back to Terrace, kill the monsters here. Go to Kerns and kill all the monsters here. Repeat it maybe again, if it lets me. Go do this again, this again, and go up to Stone Goodheart Castle, do this. Go into the uh, Markwood and do the couple of... Uh, Bonk is here, and even the big pill bug, which regenerates, and then go back and do it all again to get my level up and to get my money up so I can buy everything and then also buy the bow lore. So let's do that right now. Woo! That took a long time. I, I did the uh, grinding. I went back and forth and back and forth and around and around and got my level up and got a lot of money. You notice down here I got 57.84. And uh, I am getting close to level 9. But I'm here now in Currenson by the Goblin Sanctuary, Currenson area, and we're going to buy the bow lore. So burn that tree, go down and talk to the guy, and learn bow lore. And that'll give us more power to a bow. We'll be able to do power shots with it, make the 
any bow we own much more effective. And now we're going to make our way all the way back up here to Windermere, and I may kill a few monsters along the way, and go down in the mine, because it's a waste not to, and make a little bit more money. And then I'd get back to the save machine, and then be really begin the Windermere quest. And we made it back to Windermere. I did stop along the way to kill a few monsters uh, in this area and in Terrace along the way. And I got some good money. And I'm ready to go. Begin the true Windermere quests. You want to go up and over to the uh, armory, armorer, or whatever that, whatever. Go talk to this guy, see what's for sale, and buy the claw sword for 2000 Also, see what's for sale, buy the bomb for 200 That's good. The other thing I want to do is go up along this to the second the first door and carefully set an item that a long sword for 200 then uh, you don't want to just press uh, your button too much because you'll buy, you'll sell your claw sword for half of what you just paid for it and we're good got some more money they come in handy. They can save your game. And then go into this building. And these people are, will not let you down these stairs. Not right now. What you need to do first is to go over to the duck enclosure. And the shrine. Right there to that stupid rock. With the crack in it. That you can barely determine. Or see. Drop your bomb in front of it. And immediately. Load. Where your. Uh, hyper boots. Boom. Go in immediately and start kicking them. Kicking, kicking the heck out of them. Pick up those potions if you can put, uh, do that too. Beat them, beat them, beat them. Just turn them in. You gotta kick them until they turn into dinner. Don't want to let too many of them outside the, the, the gate. Some of them might sneak through uh, the fences, and then it's real hard to get. But you have to just keep uh, burning, burning, or cooking. You got that one duck outside the enclosure, and I have to be careful about this. Don't step off the screen. I have to kill him without leaving the screen. If I do, I have to redo all that killing and cooking. There we go. We did it. Hey, Kelly. This is going to be so great. What the? Uh-oh. No. Daddy, what happened? Guards. Help. <laughs> This guy killed the blessed fowl. I must avenge the wing goddess. Kelly, what are you doing? I'm eating. Sir, your daughter is eating our god. I guess we have to kill her too. This meat tastes good. Wait, isn't it all raw and such? 
I guess one piece wouldn't hurt. It tastes great. Less filling, too. Dink, you magically changed our supreme beings into food. No, there is a perfect explanation. You see, the friction seemed to cook, and... Who cares about that? Dink is a hero. We must go tell the others. And we did it. This ends... <laughs> the Windermere Quest. We saved the town from famine because they have all the chicken to eat. They... Uh, duck to eat, and they don't have. Uh, I just want to kick that one, <laughs> and it, because uh, they were giving all their money and all the, all to their religion and all their food too, so they had nothing, and they were all starving. And so we've saved it. And they've honored us with a stone, with a lovely stone. Think Smallwood. And we can go back and save our game. And now, these people in this little house will let us down the stairs. And we just go right across till we get out to an island. Go up. And we're at Joppa Isle. The Island of Dragons go in and up and if you need healing break the barrel weird this town looks deserted go in the door and down the stairs look someone came down hello I'm Dink Smallwood oh yes I've read about you please did you see anyone out there out where town yes our daughter is still out there. She'll be killed. Why? I saw nothing dangerous. They must have left. We must go find her. What if she is... Don't say such things. Stay here. I will be back shortly. I cannot idly wait while my daughter is in danger. And once she's off the screen, you can move again. If you need a heart, there'll be one in this barrel. Go up the stairs, but before you exit, equip your claw sword, because there's going to be a scene played out in front of you, and you're going to need to fight after that scene. And you're not going to want to use your magic. You cannot accidentally kill the townspeople with either your sword or magic. And you have to defeat the enemy, two dragons, before they magically or physically kill the townspeople. If they die, you die. So, when come to safety. Oh, mother, I've been so afraid. That sound. And that sound is wings. Because here come the dragons. Run from us no more, humans. Let's finish this. We will fight. Protect the women, Smallwood. And run out and kill this dragon quick. You're getting attacked with magic. Don't let don't kill those people. They try to get in the way. You did it, you did it, Smallwood. Think you saved me, you're a hero. And say whatever you want to say. In any case, we are very grateful. Those two dragons have been on the rampage for a month. It all started when we built this town on their nest. 
So basically, I just killed two innocent dragons for protecting their own. Uh, gotta get back to the store. See you later. And that's all there is to this quest. Step off the screen. Go back and inside. And this fellow, because we have over 3,000 coins, well, we can now buy the throwing axe. That's what we get for paying, uh, uh, for planning ahead. So now we have the throwing axe. It's a wonderful device. Right for killing things and for earning money. Not perfect. I prefer the uh, hyper boots and magic for some things. And other things, this comes in very handy. But it will not help us in the next part of the quest, the edge of the world, after we go to Stoneheart Castle talk to the king and accept the quest to go save Milder in the Darklands. The, the enemies up in the edge of the world are very hard to beat. And the uh, bow won't work on them. The beautiful uh, throwing axe won't work on them. Claw sword will. And your magic. Your fireball doesn't do anything to them. You need a much more powerful magic. And so let's just go back out and save our game because we have finished all the quests in the Windermere area. And we can go to Goodheart Castle now. I will give you a bit of advice if you need to be healed or want to buy healing potions. Don't buy them here. Go back to Terrace. Go to the clinic or infirmary there and buy it first. There. Much cheaper. And that's all we have for this walkthrough. And that's all I have for my sinuses tonight. Dragons, now they smell. In any case, I will see you in the next walkthrough. Hopefully, soon. Take care, and have a great day, night, or whatever. Good cup of, good cup of coffee.